This is from the graph basic exponential functions on Khan Academy. And they ask us, graph the following exponential function. And they give us the function, h of x is equal to 27 times 1 3rd to the x. So our initial value is 27, and 1 3rd is our common ratio. It's written in kind of standard exponential form. And they give us this little graphing tool where we can define these two points, and we can also define uh, we can define a horizontal asymptote to construct our function. And these three things are enough to define, to, to graph an exponential if we know that it is an exponential function. So let's think about it a little bit. So the easiest thing that I could think of is, well, let's think about its initial value. Its initial value is going to be when x equals zero. x equals zero, it's one third to the zero power, which is just one. And so you're just left with 27 times one, or just 27. That's why we call this number here, when you're written it in this form, you call this the initial value. So when x is equal to zero, h of x is equal to 27. And we're graphing y equals h of x. So now let's graph another point. So let's think about it a little bit. When, when x is equal to one, when x is equal to one, what is h of x? Well, it's gonna be one third to the first power, which is just one third. And so one third times 27 is gonna be nine. So when, h, when x is one, h of one is nine. And we can verify, well, and now let's just think about, let's think about the asymptote. So what's gonna happen here when x becomes really, 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 really big? Well, if I take one third to like a really large exponent, to say to the to the tenth power or to the hundredth power or to the thousandth power, this thing right over here is going to start approaching zero as we get as x becomes much, 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 much larger. And so something that is approaching zero times twenty-seven, well, that's going to approach zero as well. So we're going to have a horizontal asymptote at zero. And you can verify that this works for more than just the two points we thought about. When x is equal to two, this is telling us that the graph y equals h of x goes through the point two comma three. So h of two should be equal to three. And you can verify that that is indeed the case. If x is two, one third squared is nine. Oh, sorry, one third squared is one ninth. Times 27 is three. And we see that right over here. When x is two, h of two is three. So I feel pretty good about that. Let's do another one of these. So graph the following exponential function. So same logic, x is, when x is zero, the g of zero is just, going to, is just going to boil down to that initial value. And so let me scroll down, the initial value is negative 30. And so let's think about when x is equal to one. When x is equal to one, two to the first power is just two. And so two times negative 30 is negative 60. So when x is equal, when x is equal to one, the value of the graph is negative 60. Now let's think about let's think about this asymptote where that should sit. So let's think about what happens when x becomes really, 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 really negative. So when x is really negative, so two to the negative one power is one half, two to the negative two is one fourth, two to the negative three is one eighth. As you get larger and larger negative values, or higher magnitude negative values, or another way to say x becomes more and more and more negative, two to that power is going to approach zero. And so negative 30 times something approaching zero is going to approach zero. So this asymptote's in the right place. Our horizontal asymptote as x as x approaches negative infinity, as we move further and further to the left, the value of the function is going to approach zero. And we can see it kind of approaches zero from below. We can see that it approaches below because we already looked at the initial value and we used that common ratio to find one other point. Hopefully you found that uh, interesting.